Thanks very much. And yeah, we're very happy to be here and to exhibit our Gen Zero prototype where it was essentially manufactured in the vacuum press. So that's great. So I'll just go straight into Gen Zero. So Gen Zero was a huge research project that was carried out between 2019 to 2020. And the kind of key elements that we wanted to look at was ultra low embodied um, construction and also um, net zero carbon in operation and also the kind of enabling the off-site construction. So that was the kind of t the key points and a new platform for schools. The reason that timber was selected initially was because we felt like it was kind of um, under research, but obviously this this is all fantastic, and you know that's that's not really the case, which is which is ideal, and you know we've had so much support on the project. Apologies, I've just found the clicker. Um, so one of the other things with Gen Zero as well is that although we're doing this in the Department for Education, the the much wider plan is that we will take this across other government departments. So the Department for Education will kind of carry out this research initially and then we'll kind of see how far we can go with it, which is, which is great and we've got good backing for that. Um, I'm just going to move on. So this is just a kind of um, overview image of one of the two projects that we developed to Reba Stage 4. So this is a site on, uh, in Crawley, which is about 30 miles south of London. And as you, you can see, it's very kind of um, woodlandy. So you might have noticed over at Gen Zero, there's lots of trees. So we were just trying to demonstrate that one of the other kind of key features of Gen Zero was this biophilic element. Um, we've we've kind of taken the other parts of Gen Zero, for example, the biophilic design element, and we're implementing them on existing schools just as a kind of starter, which is great. Um, just kind of moving straight in with the strategies. So we've split up the, the kind of the use of the spaces. So we've got the teaching block, the comms, and the halls. And one of the kind of um, really good things about that is that in those in those teaching spaces you're you're getting like really good daylight levels because because it's um you know we're not having to kind of squeeze in the halls and the commons which is great and just go on here a bit so i'm just going to go through these so this kind of split out lens really well because we for like the toilets and the, the kitchens. We're having these manufactured off site as well and just transported in and dropped in, which is great. And yeah, flexible accommodation. And I'm just gonna go back, I went a bit fast there. So that little yellow part there, that if you can see that highlighted, so that is the Gen Zero prototype that's, that's over in the corner there. So that's just to kind of show that it's, it's a cutout of a school then that we're not, um, you know, the DFE were not trying to make like wooden porta cabins for schools, um, just in case anyone thought that. Um, so again, that's just, um, that's kind of color coding with, but that fits our kind of standard accommodation schedule. Apologies, because I think this was meant to be a kind of moving graphic, but there we go. And one of the other kind of key takeaways that, you know, probably we should stress is this kind of the grid that, that, that we're working on. So um, essentially, you'll see over the prototype that the, the way the lights are, so they're on the grid, and our floor construction is not in at the moment, but it is going to be a concrete construction. You probably think that sounds a bit, a bit odd, but we've got kind of a lot of research and looked into like the, the maintenance of floor finishes and carpets. Um, and things like that, and it's, it is kind of um, works out better to have the concrete instead, and it, it's durable, so it kind of takes away that maintenance element, and the floor slabs would be made to fit the grid, so you know they could be manufactured off-site and brought brought in, and you know you, we wouldn't have to be cutting any up, and that, you know that standardisation works really well. Um, so again, we've got. The, the standardized grids, so we're, we're getting the kind of the service spine as well, which is ideal. I'm just going to flick through a couple of these. Yeah. 
And so, yeah, you can see here that, so because we've got this kind of grid system in place and the design suits it, we can have the spaces, you know, can be made, made to suit. So whether it's a, a cupboard or a teaching space or if it's um, a, like a staff zone, it kind of, it all kind of fits on the same grid, which is great. So we have a, we have a team at the DFE who's specifically, you know, working on this and we are having our output specification um, released um, actually this month. Um, and this kind of standardized grid does form part of the new output specification. And just while I'm kind of mentioning the, so this, so the, the timber construction is, is obviously a key feature. So you'll see that over in the prototype, the walls were manufactured using the vacuum press um, at the factory, which, which is great. And the reason behind the prototype, it wasn't to, it wasn't to actually exhibit it at COP, it was to kind of get the lessons learned from, you know, actually constructing that. So ecosystems technologies have been developing that for us and gathering all those kind of lessons learned and anything that's, you know, come out of actually doing that, we can, you know, amend the, the design and take that forward. Um, so, I'm just, so you can see that we, because of this um, grid system, you know, the walls can be kind of placed anywhere there'll be a window as well at all the relevant banks standardized like lighting and um, so that's just kind of showing like panelizing volumetric and that is just kind of the structure coming in and essentially one of the a key aspects as well is that we wanted to be able to manufacture off-site and then bring it and you know build it on a school and some of our other other colleagues in other departments had a couple of concerns with the prototype and they said you know if it's going to be so some of the prototype was um, constructed in ecosystem technologies factory in Invergordon and some of our colleagues were a bit concerned you know is it going to make it back down to the factory for the exhibit and you know we kind of said well, well one of the parts is that we would ideally be you know making these schools in mass possibly in the future so if it can't make it from Invergordon to, to Glasgow one time one classroom then we're wasting our time with the whole project essentially so um, so it has made it which is great so that's a tick for the click in the right direction so I'm just going to move on. Apologies, I'm clicking through this. It usually um, would play like a kind of a video. So excuse me. So this is just some of the, um, for the, the, the kind of volumetric solutions for the, the toilets and the kitchens that will be kind of essentially delivered to the school sites. Um, we've standardized all of the services as well and one of our a couple of things about Gen Zero so although one of the really key focuses is on the the construction and um, the timber construction the low ultra low embodied carbon there are, there are so many parts to it and one of them is standardizing the services and we're kind of carrying out a separate project which is still part of Gen Zero and it's energy pods and we are essentially developing low carbon modular plant rooms um, because we have such a large existing school stock at the DFE you know we're looking to use these and retrofit initially as part you know as part of the testing and then we can kind of see see how we're going to roll those out which is which is great um, and because there's again so many different parts of Gen Zero and the different you know blocks we are also looking to so sorry, this is just a, a little image of the, the Crawley site. So in this dining area, the idea is that, you know, you can, you can look out and you can, um, you know, be at one with nature and you can um, see into the landscape and you can also kind of see along to the other blocks um, of the school. Um, just moving on, so the standardized furniture family, so Chalk Creative, so Tom is here if you have any very specific furniture questions, but it's a standardized um, furniture families, so I think it's just um, five chairs and this is all the kind of um, other um, furniture that we, we would need in a school and essentially everything's on wheels so it can just be moved around so the classrooms aren't set um, so that you know, they can just be used in, you know, however is required. And this, the furniture, what was all part of the kind of original um, research. And 
Chalk Creatives have, have made it bespoke actually just for the prototype. And I had wrongly understood that it was, you know, we were getting this off the shelf, but you know, this is, this is um, kind of a new, new for them as well, which is fantastic. So you can see the furniture in the classroom. It's all natural finishes. Um, the, the kind of the, the metal like on the chairs has been kind of treated with wax. And so we didn't want any kind of nasty chemicals um, or, or paints or anything in Gen Zero, so you'll probably notice that the walls are just going to be that kind of bare wood finish. So we're not going to do any kind of further treatment. Um, these benches can just be sanded down and um, kind of reused. They're all can be taken apart as well. So if something happens to one of the components, it can be um, taken away and repaired. Or you know, the, because there's only five um, chairs, we can kind of swap them out. So um, it's pretty great. So just kind of in theme with, with the event, so the embodied carbon. So the, without looking at the, the absolute technical detail of this, the building lifespan is 60 years. We can essentially regrow the timber that's been used to build the school in those 60 years. So just looking at it in a really, really kind of simple, simple basis. Um, so we're, we're quite, um, you know, happy um, with that and, and we're you know we're really glad that we've you know chosen timber to base the research on which is great um, so operational carbon so one of the this actually ties in with our output specification which will be released this month because we have taken this part of gen zero and we have put it into the new school design requirements so if anyone wants to see that in detail it will be on gov.uk um, the, the, the requirements, so there's going to be Annex 2G, which that Annex, which is now part of the output specification for schools, is now required on all new buildings, which is great. Um, so that, that's just a bit of a breakdown of how, um, <clears throat> you know, we've achieved this. And one of the kind of things I really kind of want to focus on is that within technical standards where the design team that I sit in we also have an IT team and they've worked really, really hard on, you know, focusing on how we can reduce energy, you know, via IT without having to actually cut back, um, you know, just how we take that forwards. So there's, there's loads of plans in place for, for, for everything. Um, so again, we've um, carried out a lot of work on the um, mechanical and electrical systems. And you can see that um, we're using this heat, heat recovery system I'm just gonna kind of flick through the, the graphics um, but yeah they are active choice of timber so that's a kind of meeting teacher space and you can see that it's it's just the same as the classroom it's, it's really just kind of smaller and the if you're wondering you know all the trees in front of the the prototype um, it, it's so that you know when we have these schools actually um, on site, that is what you're going to see when you're looking out the window, is this kind of um, foliage coming in. And some, when we were doing the research, we also considered, you know, the kind of cooling benefits as well of having that extra shading um, in the summertime. So that's just a kind of um, exploded um, image of the, the halls, the timber structure. So I think I'd mentioned before that to kind of further the research, we are going to look at sustainable pods. So we're kind of taking different parts of, of Gen Zero and um, essentially making more prototypes that we, we, we will use in real school settings, but it's really just to test this. So just um, to kind of push on that this is a research project that we're, you know, we're trying to take forward. Um, it's not something that we can just kind of implement immediately. It's, we've, you know, we've taken the parts that we could implement immediately and released them quite quickly. Um, so that's just the, the sports hall timber structure, so it's just really nice kind of natural um, wood finishes, and you might recognise that's the, the vacuum press over there. So this is a prototype um, kind of in construction, so that's um, just an exploded um, image of the kit of parts, and that is how a kind of, the kind of classroom will be, but obviously the, the tables can be moved around and things like that as well, but it's it's just um, a really, you know, nice environment as well for, for the children to learn in, which is fantastic. And you can see we've just kind of 
Um, no, today we've got the glue them col columns, the CLT wall panels, the, the glue them beams. So it's, it's um, yeah, the, the prototype, we're, we're all really, you know, really impressive how, how it's um, kind of come to life, which is great. And I'd mentioned that the kind of biophilic design element was a really kind of key part of the, the research. And we are, the, uh, it looks a bit kind of jungle-like, and that, that, you know, that, that's, that's the idea. You know, we want it to be really full, a really full landscape. And we have taken a project forward um, specifically to, to, you know, develop this to see what works as well, which is great. Um, we're going to be having these outdoor learning spaces, so all the, any kind of roof surfaces as well are going to have PV on them, which is great because that helps kind of balance out our um, operational carbon. And that's the, the commons, so we'll kind of cut through. So the idea is that you can just see right through. Um, so I think I've actually mentioned a couple of these throughout, but the, yeah, the next steps is that we're going to be doing the, the energy pods, the, um, the sustainable pods as well, and on our existing program, um, the school, re um, school rebuilding program, we are going to be implementing parts of Gen Zero via pilots and pathfinders, which is really exciting. Um, so we'll be looking at, you know, for Gen Zero and re... re um, retrofit and new build as well. Um, so that's um, hopefully a quick, a quick summary, but if anyone has any um, questions, I'll be here, but you can also find me over, over in the prototype if you've got any kind of really detailed ones, I can show more content or whatever is required. So thanks very much.